Hey everybody, my name is Paige. I'm a comedian in Richmond, Virginia. Um, I'm doing this competition to make money. It's a chance at $1,000. I want to be very rich, very famous. Um, if you want to follow my social media, Twitter, Instagram, at Uncle Page, at Uncle Page 420 Tech Time. shows during COVID. Not me, because, listen, I think this is my opportunity to get a TV credit. I'll be honest. Um, you're, you guys are going to see me in a Ken Burns documentary. Just like, oh my god, can you believe this guy was doing stand-up a year into the nine-year play? What the f***? <laughs> oh my god, people sprouted wings after the second vaccine, and he's just like, oh, my dick is sad, huh? <laughs> Excited to be here. Jump to the show. Clap it up for me. Driving. I do it a lot for comedy, but every time without fail, I see something that annoys the shit out of me. Today I was driving, and I saw an undercover cop. And undercover cops are always frustrating, just because of how non-committed to the role they are, right? You're driving, and you see that section that says authorized vehicles only, and there's an unmarked car that has 18 antennas on it. It's like, you're not fooling a goddamn person. <laughs> I don't know what you think this is. If you're going to the cover, just go all in. That's all that I ask. Like, I was speeding and I got pulled over by an 18-wheeler. I'd be like, yeah, write me a ticket. I have no argument here. I don't <laughs> They didn't even go license, like pick up some ad dollars. Like, if I was speeding and I got pulled over by the Oscar Mayer Wiener Romeo, I would never see that shit coming. <laughs> we're just like, what the f***? It's just like, yeah, I don't know if you heard recently, but we got defunded. It's kind of a whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. And it's a great primer for prison, because you're riding a wiener before you ever get there, so I don't know. <laughs> Alright, if that's the line, it's going to be a rough three minutes. I don't know if you guys... <laughs> mm. I'm excited to be here. Uh, lockdown has not been good for me, so I'm excited to be around people again. Uh, you know what I've been doing for the past years is watching television. That's it. That's... We're watching TV. Advertising has gotten out of control. I don't know if you guys have watched TV recently, but I was watching TV and there was a commercial for medicine. And that has slogans now, which is like, I guess if medicine is not flying off the shelves the way they wanted to, they're like, we have two options. We either contaminate the water or we come up with a catchy slogan. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so I was watching this commercial for cystic fibrosis medicine. If you're not familiar with cystic fibrosis, milk is built up in people's airways and it blocks like their breathing. It's not funny, right? You know what the slogan they came up with for cystic fibrosis medicine is? Just breathe. How's that not the shittiest gut punch of a slogan of all time, right? This is like any other ailment, and that's offensive, just telling you to do what you cannot do, right? Like learning disability medicine, it's like, hey man, just retain information. I don't know. The problem seems to be that you're not remembering shit. I don't know. Or like Parkinson's, it's like, ah, shake it off, asshole. <laughs> I had too much time on my hands. I went on Tinder recently. Tinder sucks during COVID. I don't know if you guys, any Tinder fans? That's about the response Tinder deserves. <laughs> Tinder sucked before COVID, uh, but now it really sucks. Cause I just have like two tests to lie about, right? So like, yeah, of course I've got the vaccine. I've got the AIDS vaccine too. Don't need any mask or condom. Now how about we go out to a bar, get a couple more shots, it'll be great. Listen, great vaccine joke. I don't know if you guys. <laughs> Mm. No. No? Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Mm. Yeah, Tinder's kooky. I don't know. You know what I'm tired of on Tinder is, uh, is I'm sick and tired of astrology. You guys astrology fans? Yeah? Alright, well I'm gonna shit on it. Sorry. Uh, here's the thing. I don't think astrology is real. It's fine if you like read it just that far. I don't think it's real. It's weird to me that people to think it's real, because most of the people that you meet that think it's real, they're also super anti-religion, which doesn't make any sense. Like, f*** God, that shit's fake. But I feel like the Lord of has got some cool shit to say. I don't know if you guys... It's weird. I was on a Tinder day recently. It was uh, going well, we were having a good back and forth. I was getting some laughs, obviously. And... She cut me off in a sentence. She goes, hey, any chance you have a birthday coming up? I was like, that's crazy. I actually knew her birthday coming up. She goes, I knew it. I knew you were a Libra because you've been flirting with me this whole time. I'm like, okay, that's one theory. Maybe I've been flirting with you because I'm currently on a date with you. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for me, everybody. Have a good night.